welcome to Vulture's Secret History of Television. This week's entry, Very Special Episodes, filed under Lessons Instead of Laughs. A very special episode is one where a lighthearted show abruptly gives a blunt moral lesson. While admirable in theory, they're often cringeworthy in execution and have a tortured history. In the 70s, before the term came into use, Norman Lear started tackling serious topics in his sitcoms All in the Family, Sanford and Son, and Maud. But they weren't cheap ratings ploys, they weren't hyped up, and some of them were downright revolutionary, like the 1972 episode of Maud where its title character contemplated an abortion. I'm doing the right thing. But in the 80s, the phenomenon started to spread, with sappy, ratings-hungry installments of shows like Growing Pains, Punky Brewster, and Different Strokes. Topics ranged from drug use to rape, and even proper use of CPR. Variations on the phrase very special were often used in fourth wall breaking introductions by the show's actors. We're starting a special two-part show on a very sensitive and important subject. These episodes were usually forced onto the shows by executives and led to surreal moments with live audiences. When Tom Hanks portrayed Alex P. Keaton's alcoholic uncle Ned on Family Ties, the audience laughed while the character disintegrated. I'm drunk. <laughs> Very special episodes reached a fever pitch in the 90s, where we had to suffer through life lessons on sitcoms like Full House and Family Matters. The phrase is most closely tied to Blossom, which used it to promote way too many episodes. Tonight on NBC, a very special Blossom. But Saved by the Bell probably had the most infamous episode, in which Jesse gets addicted to stimulants. I'm so excited! I'm so Three factors crippled very special episodes in the past 15 years. First, audiences and creators just got sick of them, and hit shows like Friends started using them as a punchline. My entire family thinks I have VD. Tonight, on a very special blossom. <laughs> Second, there was the rise of the dramedy genre. If a show wasn't strictly a comedy, it could have life lessons that didn't feel out of place. Third, more and more shows had serialized stories. Multiple episode arcs could deal with issues more naturally. These days, a witty show like Orange is the New Black can smoothly deal with things like heroin addiction. So even though contemporary audiences are a little too cynical for very special episodes, we've found better ways to get lessons from TV. You're looking at one disillusioned dude. <laughs> Tune in next week for another entry in Vulture's Secret History of television.